Welcome. In the last video, we talked about what happens when we mix data types with the arithmetic operators. And we left off when we talked about what happens when you mix a character with an integer. And it turned out to be that when we mix this integer and this character, that when we said 5 plus the letter A, we got the result 102, which meant that the character A had a value of 97. And I said I was going to explain that in this video, so let's get started. So I want to show you a particular thing called the ASCII table. And you can Google this. You can put this on any search engine. Just, just type in ASCII and you'll get this nice table. You can also go to ASCIItable.com and you'll see the table. Now, you have a table, obviously, with a few columns, right? So one column is DEC, which represents the decimal number, okay? Hex, which is the hexagonal value. And then the oct, the octagonal value. If you don't know what these are, I recommend a video I did, which is also in this video series. Go check it out. It's the video on binary. I'll, I'll leave a note. And then it tells you which character this value represents, right? So, for example, let's go look for the letter A. Notice that the letter A is right here. And it says that the character A is represented by the decimal value 97. Interesting. Coincidentally, that's what our A represents here, right? 97 plus 5 is 102. And when I go to ASCII table, here it is. A is a value of 97. Okay, so now B is 98. Okay, so now I can look at all the letters of the alphabet, both lowercase, uppercase. I can look at the digits right here. So wait, so look at this. The, the value, the character, 0, is represented by the decimal value 48. What? Let's try that. All right, let me put a zero here. All right, let's just, let's just you know, we have to see this, right? All right, let's see if, if this thing ever runs. Oh, it's right here. So notice is what? 48 plus 5 is 53. All right, if you don't believe me, I'm not doing no magic. Let's put a zero here just so that you can see it. All right, here we go. 48, right? Zero plus the first letter is 48. So the character which is the digit zero has a numeric value of 48 now this particular table has all the letters for the english language that you would normally need right so you have a space you have punctuations you have the digits more punctuations for math and other stuff you have the uppercase, the lowercase, you know, more punctuation. And then you have these control characters, which they do some stuff, right? There's a lot of these have particular uses, like, okay, you want to separate two records, two files. Okay, these maybe are not so obvious on what they do. But look, okay, a tab, even a tab has a value in ASCII, right? A tab, even backspace. Here we go. Backspace is the number eight. So all of this, there's 128 total in this ASCII table. And these characters are already part of the C++ language. C++ automatically converts these characters into their numeric value internally. Or it will promote them internally when they're used as part of some operation with an integer. Okay, so th this is it, right? So it's just, it's just something that if you ever like, okay, which value do I have in this character? or I'm getting this numeric value. The reason for that is because they are getting converted by the specifications that were set on this ASCII table. Now, one thing that I do want to mention, this is I think it's quite interesting, is that these values, they were not placed here at random. There's, there's a reason why they place them like this. Now, to show you what, what I mean, take a look at the uppercase A. The uppercase A has a value of 65. 65 in binary in a byte is 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now let's go take a look at 97, which is the lowercase a. That is 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Interesting. Do you notice what's the difference? The difference between 65 and 97 in binary is just one bit, the third bit from the left to right, right? It got shifted. Or it got, sorry, I should say it got flipped from 0 to 1. So if you want to convert a lowercase to an uppercase, the only thing you have to do is to flip the third bit that is located from the left to right. And also notice 97, 97 minus 65 is 32. 
98 minus 66 is 32. That means the difference between an uppercase and a lowercase has a numeric value of 32. And 32 just happens to be that location of that one bit, the third bit from the left to right uh, in, a, in a byte. So let's say I do A, capital A, right? And I'm going to say, uh, I'm just going to say A. And I think to show this, I have to put a C here. And let's just say first letter. First letter. And then we run this. And there you go. Result is A. Okay. Now, what if we do A plus 32? This should give us what? Lowercase a, right? There you go. Boom. So, we can mix data types with these arithmetic operators. But just know that things happen internally. At the end of the day, all of this information, all these primitives, they get converted to a sequence of bits. And those bits are nicely representing numbers in the binary format. So, these conversions happen automatically because that's how they're supposed to be, right? So, the letter A is a character, but internally, it could also be seen as an integer. And if you add an integer to this A, well, you are, what essentially, you are changing the value in this ASCII table. In fact, a lot of the times, some people, and I will explain why this on the next video, some people, and I, even I myself have done this, there's a particular reason why we do this, char sometimes is used instead of int, right? Because think about it, I can put just 32 here. Uh, let's just say, you know, let's just say 97 for the letter A, right? And let me, let me run this, and I get what? A, right? But what if I just put a D here? What if I say, hey, this is a number. This is not a character. What happens? You think I, you think it'll work? Oh, 97. The same variable. The, think about it. The same variable, which is a character. I'm using it as an integer, right? This is an integer. And I run it, and, you know, there it is, 97. And I can do math with it. And I can do uh, 100 plus, and then I do result. And then I run this. Look at it, 197. You could indeed use character, the, the data type char, as an integer. There's, there's, there is a difference, and we'll talk about the difference in the next video, and why would you want to use char over int in some situations. So check that out if you're interested. But with that being said, what I wanted you to get out of this video is that characters, such as the letter A, have a numeric representation. And if you mix that char with some numeric value, such as an int, it will be using its numeric value in conjunction with that number to do the operation. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you're new to this channel, check out the video series, check out the channel. If you like what you see, subscribe, be safe, and peace out.